It is unlikely that anyone now can answer the question, what will the world be like in a thousand years? It is impossible to predict the future even 100 years from now. But despite this, scientists and futurists can still make assumptions and seriously consider various options for the future of our civilization, even for millennia ahead. And these hypotheses do not necessarily exclude, but rather complement each other. Let's see what they've dreamed up here. The extension of human life in the future is one of those tasks, the work on which is unlikely to ever cease. One solution is medical nanorobots that purify and protect the body, together with our own natural leukocytes, slowing down aging and, of course, healing cancer and other diseases. And this brings us to the next subject. Immortality in the future is an ideal that an overwhelming majority of people are counting on. Whether it is achieved through biotechnology, nanotechnology, or the merging of people with machines is not so important. Average life expectancy was just 37 years in the 1800s. Now, average life expectancy has reached an amazing 79 years. Whether we keep pushing these limits or break them all together, everything depends on us. But do we have to live forever? And do we want to? A future with unlimited energy and a clean environment can also be achieved through the wonders of advanced nanorobots. They would purify water and air while meeting the needs of humanity like collecting solar energy. Given the current problems on our planet Earth, I would like to see such a step as soon as possible. A future off the Earth is a bit sad, but not the worst option. Our planet could be destroyed by natural disaster or we could simply run out of natural resources, in which case we would have to look for a new home. Mars seems to be a good starting point, but our greatest dreams are, of course, connected with the colonization of other star systems. A future with aliens? Why not? Some believe that aliens are already among us. Detecting intelligent extraterrestrial life will not be easy, neither will it be impossible. It will be necessary to develop spacefaring technology of a qualitatively different level and to take all possible precautions. But the end of our singular loneliness in the universe would definitely be worth it, wouldn't it? A future with intelligent machines is a logical continuation from our present point. If you are not lucky enough to meet aliens, our future neighbors might be intelligent robots created by us. Considering how much artificial intelligence will develop over the next thousand years, it will certainly not be boring. Our technological future implies not only the development of technology, but also our literal fusion with it. We are increasingly using information and entertainment gadgets today. Perhaps the day is not far off when we will have displays built into our eyes. The fusion of man and machine is not as scary as it seems. At least, we shouldn't be afraid of some uprising of our automobiles. And space travel in the future, which we would like to see, will likely become as simple as moving around on the Earth. Regarding long stays in space, it will be necessary to take into account not only the myriad technological difficulties, but also the negative impact that such environments have on the human body. Perhaps the problem can be solved by modification of our DNA. A future without the problem of overpopulation. The population of the Earth grows by 1 to 1.5% 1 every year, and this rate will double in 100 years. And even if there were enough space on the planet for 100 times more people, still the question of world hunger would become much more acute there would be a need for a technology that would allow for the creation of nutritious, cheap food from thin air. And there would be the additional question as to the correct and equitable distribution of material resources. And I did not even consider options for the enslavement of humanity by aliens or robots, a zombie apocalypse, or just your ordinary run-of-the-mill world nuclear war. Science fiction writers and Hollywood will do this for me with joy. I decided to look into the distant future with a positive view. Maybe one of us can even live to see it. 
And if you are already living at that time and watching this video, however unlikely that may be, then greetings to you from us in 2017.